Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm just going to show you a few ways to auto-fill your data in Excel 2007 or 2010 or even 2003 uh, pretty much the same for most of them so I've got a few names here and I was just going to make my table and um, I need um, to write in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday Thursday, Friday, you know, I have to write in all those days across there. So I've written Monday, M O N, I've just like abbreviated it. And um, I'm just going to press um, on that box and go to the corner, and that cross changes into a smaller little cross. Now that means that I can hold my mouse key down and drag that across and see how it's going to put the days in for me. You can see a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so there we go. It filled it in for me. Even though I'd only written MUN, M-O-N, um, it would have done the same thing if I'd written Monday. Now here, a little autofill options comes up and um, you can see there's a few options there. Now, what it's done there has, it's filled the days in for me, but I can also choose for it to only fill the weekdays. So we take that off. So it goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then it's taken the weekends out and comes back to Monday and Tuesday. Now that would just continue if I drag that along. Now if I want to change it back, I'll just go back and go to fill series again and it'll just continue and it'll have the weekends there. Now these ones here are all different so we can't really just go and fill all those in. They're all different names and stuff like that and they don't go in a sequence. Now just say this Dan, if I, if I drag this across it would fill all the boxes with the same thing because it doesn't have any thing to go in sequence with. Now um, just say I had uh, four different bobs working for me and you got and you wanted to call them um, Bob 1, Bob 2, Bob 3 and Bob 4 well that will work if I put a number behind that name and just get there we go we got Bob 1, Bob 2, Bob 3 and Bob 4 now that doesn't have to apply to names that can apply to anything you like now let's go to the next sheet um, now I showed you days of the week and stuff like that um, this is a quarter so what I mean by a quarter is the first quarter of the year. Um, so we all know that there's four quarters in the year and uh, all we have to do is put quarter one and you can drag this down and it'll just continue and go quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, then go back to one, two, three, four because there's only four quarters in a year. Okay, now same with this, you can do Q1, same thing, exactly. Now, um, with the next one, you can also do it with January, just like I did with the days of the um, week, and I didn't have to write the whole thing, I just wrote Jan, January, or you can write the whole thing if you want to, it'll still do it. I can select all of these and I can still drag this and go further with the dates okay if I didn't go far enough in the first place now again there's options um, just on the corner here when you did do that there's options here again um, you can keep the formatting you can fill without formatting um, it's already filled the months so you can copy all those cells and paste them somewhere else or whatever you want now you can also do this with dates as well so if I um, 
go into this column here any kind of date you like you can go 1989 if you want um, now you must put the second one in as well 1990 okay then after you have two so it knows that it's going in sequence you can select both of those and it will continue along with what you are doing now if I'd only had one in there it would just duplicate the same one because it doesn't really know that you're going in sequence now we can I'll just select that and delete it we can also do that for like um, the day actual date like um, say the second of the third 2015 so we've got the date in there and they it I mean we know what day comes next so we don't need to put a second one in for this okay now here we go there's it's just continued with the days going down now with this it's no big deal it just means that it can't fit in the column okay so if I just pop up the top here and uh, go right between these columns here and just click it double click it actually and it'll widen the column so it can fit okay um, that that's got nothing to do with auto populating but um, that's what happens when you get those little hashtags in there all right um, you can have your own fun uh, populating using autofill and um, you can do it with the days of the weeks the month you can do it with all sorts of things as you can see thanks for watching